Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to change the keyboard on the Dell Precision 7740 laptop. Right, the first thing you want to do is make sure it is off, remove the SD card if there is one, remove the SD card, and if yours only has a space saver or an adapter, remove that too. Right, remove the battery cover. Now detach the battery power cable, you'll see there's this flap here, which you can actually pull on it, just pull evenly, and there it comes out. Now the battery can be removed. Now you need to detach the keyboard cable and the fingerprints cable. Right, so there's a little flap there, 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 and there, and all you do is you lift them up. And all you need to do is grab the tab, there's the tab, one and there's another one there and this one has already come out right now that is finished now we flip the laptop over now if you look closely you'll see there's a gap there and one there now you can pry this lattice out try use plastic tools if you've got Right, now you can get your finger there, and as you can see, gently unclipping this. Do not bend it. Try and come next to it and peel. See, I'm peeling it gently. Right, so the lattice comes out. If you have a look at it, you can see it's got these little clips all around. Now you'll see five screws, one, two, three, four, five. Just for your reference, the keyboard screws are much smaller than the battery fastening screws. Right, you'll see you need to lift the keyboard slightly you'll see there's clips on the side here, so I'm just lifting it out of the clip there. Clo just to show you a close-up, you can see there's the clip, so if I press this back in there, and what I do is I just took my screwdriver or you can take your plastic pry tool, it doesn't matter. And all I'm doing is I'm lifting it. You see there's a clip. Now there are one, two, three, four, five, six clips that are holding down the keyboard. And then here in the front there's a little nipple that's going through this uh, little hole there and there. So you have to lift that. Now you'll see these are the ribbon cables here. Just be extra careful and um, I'm just gently pulling on them. There we go and then they come out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the keyboard this way and there comes the keyboard. Now once the keyboard is loosened, don't just pull it out. Remember there was that little grab handle, so you want to help it from the back so that it doesn't get caught here on this harsh corner. So that's what I'm talking about. You can see how easy it is to get this caught here. So just make there, that one is caught, so just make sure you help it along. And now they can come out. Right, so there is the keyboard release from the laptop. Right, now to reinstall this, what you want to do is you first want to align these ribbons and you'll see that there is a tape at the back there, so you want to get the ribbon to go at an angle underneath this tape. So you want to feed these ribbons in. Right, so I'm feeding it in 
and just note that there is a thing in the way here and what you want to do is you just want to make sure that both these ribbons here go towards this left hand so side here while uh, if you look here you'll see that all these four ribbons are underneath the tape now so now I can actually slide it in like that now this is the trick what you want to do is you actually want to leave the front part a little bit open then push it towards the back slide it in at the back so now it's pressing in so you're leaning the so you're sliding the keyboard just a slightly into the back and then uh, support this with your fingers do not make it uh, have a harsh bend or anything and you see it just slots in place just like that now once these nipples are through these holes here, that's telling you that the keyboard is in line. And all you need to do is go around and seat it into these six brackets. There we go. Now the keyboard is now seated and now all it needs are the five screws which I'll now screw in. One, two, three, four, five. Now you can put the lattice on, just requires you to gently massage it down. There are a lot of attachment points. Now you can close the screen and attach the ribbon cables. All right, so I just wanna highlight all the ribbon cables are underneath this little tape or this guide here. So there you can see one, two, three, four, and they just need to be inserted into these points over here. So let's start with the one on this side. Right, so you can see there's a wing there and a wing there that sits down and you can close the lid just looking there you can see there's the wing the wing and there just having a look there's the wing the wing and you just press it down so you you're not sliding it in you actually just push putting it in see there I'm just like placing it in you can't slide it in because the wings will knock on these little raised sides right so you slide them in one two three four make sure it's all tight done now just make sure all the covers are down here by this green arrow. Um, my finger just bumped that and it actually stayed open and the keyboard wouldn't work and obviously the backlight and the touchpad. So just make sure that all the ribbon cables in the area are fastened and closed. All right, now you just reinstall the battery. And you put your screw there, 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 and then you fasten the power cord there, press that down, and you'll reseat your back cover. Thanks for watching. Cheers.